When talking about Jupiter, it's hard to ignore the famous Great Red Spot. This massive storm, the largest and most violent in our solar system, has captivated astronomers since it was first observed by Robert Hooke in 1664. Over the years, several space missions have studied this colossal storm. Space probes like Voyager 1, Voyager 2, and the Cassini spacecraft have captured data during their flybys. From Earth, the Hubble Space Telescope has been closely monitoring the Great Red Spot. Previously, data from Hubble showed that the storm was shrinking. It used to be large enough to fit three Earth-sized planets, but now it can only fit just over one. The storm is more than 10,000 miles wide right now, but that is a significant decrease in diameter from what it used to be about 25,500 miles wide. Additionally, the storm's wind speeds have increased by 8% from 2008 to 2020, and its shape has shifted from oval to circular. But so far, scientists have not been able to know how deep this storm extends into Jupiter's atmosphere. It's because observing Jupiter in detail from Earth is challenging, and to understand the storm better, continuous close-up observations are necessary. NASA's Juno spacecraft launched in 2011 has been doing just that since it arrived at Jupiter in 2016. Juno orbits the planet, studying its magnetosphere, cloud tops, radiation belts, and the composition of its moons, providing valuable insights into the mysteries of the Great Red Spot. But there are still many mysteries hidden in this Great Red Spot. Recently, Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have observed a previously unseen structure in the atmosphere above Jupiter's famous Great Red Spot. Additionally, there's an unusual glow of light hovering above this massive storm. The exact cause of this bright flash and strange pattern is still unknown. Initially, scientists speculated that it might be due to sunlight, similar to how sunlight creates the northern and southern lights near Jupiter's poles. However, researchers now suspect that something else might be responsible for the glow above the Great Red Spot. Study lead author Henrik Meelen of the University of Leicester said in a statement that, We thought this region, perhaps naively, would be really boring, but it is in fact just as interesting as the northern lights, if not more so, Jupiter never ceases to surprise. Today, in this video, we will uncover how did this giant storm last so long? What keeps a storm going for hundreds of years? Why did it suddenly start shrinking rapidly? And the most interesting thing is, what is this strange structure above this giant red spot? The great red spot is powered by several unique features of Jupiter. First, Jupiter is a gas giant, meaning it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth. This allows the storm to move freely in the planet's thick and swirling atmosphere. Jupiter's rapid rotation also plays a key role. The planet spins very quickly, completing one rotation every 10 hours. This fast spin creates powerful jet streams that help keep the storm spinning. But how did it form in the first place? Well, the Great Red Spot is an anticyclone rotating counterclockwise once about every six days and produces winds up to 580 miles per hour. On Earth, anticyclones are created when high atmospheric pressure causes air from higher altitudes to be forced down. They are often associated with clear, warm, and dry weather. Cyclones, on the other hand, form around a central area of low pressure causing air to rise and are associated with cloudy, windy, and rainy weather. Though scientists understand how anticyclones form on Earth, no one knows for sure exactly how or when the Great Red Spot formed. It's also not clear why it is so incredibly long-lived, though scientists have several guesses. One hypothesis is that it is trapped between two opposite flowing jet streams which act like two conveyor belts, keeping the great red spot spinning on both sides. Another is that the vertical flow of heat and cold inside the storm helps keep it alive. 
A significant factor in its longevity is the fact that Jupiter, as a gas planet, has no surface, and thus there is no friction to slow the storm. In the mid-1990s, the Galileo probe detected lightning and a massive thunderstorm near the border of the Great Red Spot. Scientists thought smaller storms might power the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is a shallow system that does not connect to the surface of the planet by itself. There is a possibility that small thunderstorms bring energy in the form of heat from the planet up into the atmosphere and feed it to the larger oval storms where they meet. By a property of fluid dynamics, since the thunderstorms and the red spot are rotating in the same direction, they merge. These smaller storms can merge with the great red spot, giving it a boost of energy and helping it stay strong and some might even be consumed by it when they take a wrong turn. These are possible explanations for how the giant red spot first formed and what's powering it. But wait, recently scientists found that this great red spot is shrinking. Some scientists speculate that the shrinkage is linked to these smaller storms. Either fewer small storms are feeding into the Great Red Spot, meaning it has less fuel powering it, or too many storms spinning slowly or in the opposite direction have collided with it, causing drag that drains it. Now let's talk about the discovery of a strange structure above the Great Red Spot by the James Webb Telescope. Jupiter is one of the brightest objects in our night sky, easily visible on clear nights. However, Aside from its striking auroras, the rest of Jupiter's atmosphere only emits a faint glow. This faintness makes it challenging for telescopes on Earth to capture detailed images of Jupiter's atmosphere because they have to look through Earth's own atmosphere which can blur the view. But the James Webb Telescope has the capability to reveal the deep mysteries of the Jupiter. And recently scientists directed the James Webb Telescope towards the Great Red Spot. This led to the discovery of several complex structures in the Great Red Spot, including dark arcs and bright spots. These strange patterns and the bright glow above the red spot have recently puzzled scientists. They have no reasonable explanation for these previously unseen structures, but a new theory may solve the mystery by considering the effect of gravitational waves in Jupiter's atmosphere. Though incident sunlight is responsible for the majority of the light seen from Jupiter's atmosphere, the research team thinks there must be another that is giving rise to changes in the shape and structure of these upper Jovian atmosphere. One way in which you can change this structure is by gravity waves, similar to waves crashing on a beach creating ripples in the sand. These waves are generated deep in the turbulent lower atmosphere, all around the Great Red Spot and they can travel up in altitude, changing the structure and emissions of the upper atmosphere. And scientists believe that these odd features seem to be caused by powerful atmospheric gravity waves. These gravity waves are very different from gravitational waves, the latter of which are tiny ripples in space and time predicted by Albert Einstein in his 1915 theory of general relativity. Gravity waves propagate through an atmosphere as opposed to the fabric of space-time as gravitational waves do. These atmospheric gravity waves are also seen on Earth occasionally, but these Earth-bound waves are much less intense and powerful than the same phenomenon occurring over Jupiter. The team now hopes to follow up on the detection of these newly found Great Red Spot features and the intricate wave patterns underlying them with the James Webb Telescope. This future investigation could reveal how the waves flow through the gas giant's upper atmosphere and how this causes the observed structures to move. 